Welcome back to my channel. It's October and this month we are trying to incorporate as much ooky spooky Megala ding dong dookie the house down boots the mummy just came in my mouth fierceness into our channel For those of you guys that do not know I was actually in a show with Erica Clash and Erica Clash was from season two of the Boulay Brothers Dragula. If you're not watching Dragula, you need to watch Dragula. It is ooky spooky drag at its finest. I'm really excited for today's video because we are going to be looking over and just talking about the promo looks for season four of the Boulay Brothers Dragula. There's so many different types of looks that I'm looking for, but we're just gonna be talking about them. I'm not judging anyone's art. I just wanna, just wanna discuss unless they look really bad. That's what I'm gonna do if it's bad. I'm gonna go, boo, you're gay. <laughs> Before we get into this video, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want more content like this, and comment down below, do you want to see me review the episodes of season four of Boulay Brothers Dragula? Because the cash prize this year is $100,000 which means people are going to be bringing it. And by it, I mean a plate of ghosts. Ooh, what else is spooky? Let's get into this trailer. So we're gonna be watching the trailer today for the promo and we're gonna be looking at every monster's um, outfits just in motion and then we're gonna be going into um, singular photos just so we can talk about the looks in detail. Starting off, Let's go ahead and just press play on this trailer. Ooh, spooky sounds. I'll stick up. Hey! Ah! <laughs> I don't know why it scared me. I don't remember the Boulay's names. It's Drag Morda and Drag Thulu. Drag Thula. Drag Cthulhu. Ah! Okay, fingernails. Wait, look at my finger. <laughs> Their fingernails get longer every season. Okay, cute. They always look so good in these whiteout lenses. The Boulets always take up 50% of the screen time on their own franchise. It's just kind of their thing. Eight monsters. <laughs> he got it up in the screen! Who is this? Oh, she's got titties for days. Come on. <laughs> the background, background dances are... Oh, her hair is late. Oh, is that her glasses? She licked the camera. Come on, she's shaking and baking. Who is this? Who is that? Come on, tattoos. Dragula monsters not wearing tights because they got tattoos for days. Who got Sigourney Beaver? Who got contracted to just be in the back and go? <laughs> I want that gig. Ah! Wow, that is so sickening. She cut off, a Formelda Hyde cut off Alexis Stone's face and put it on. Oh, come on, Saint. Get up in here, Saint. Inside the meat locker, Saint. They're wiggling for you, Saint. They're getting all wiggly and jiggly for you. <gasps> Speaking of wiggly and jiggly, look at that butt. Look at your big old butt, clappy butt cheeks. Clappy butt. Oh my. Bitter Betty. Isn't Bitter Betty the one who does, um, she does, uh, Wig takeout. She does drag wig takeout. I don't remember the name. Go, go look at her Instagram page. Her wig is, her wigs are fierce. Who are you? She is a woman behind the bars. <gasps> She's Titi's. She kissed the hand of the guy going. <laughs> uh, Mary Sherry. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is Hoso, right? 
Oh, she is kooky and spooky. I have seen her at a drag and she fully looks like our friend Ophelia. <laughs> oh, so good. I can see out of this eye, by the way, guys. Did she contour? Did she do like the, the hungry thing where she extended the nipple down? Oh, look, it's J. Jolie. You should have picked the, the outfit where the blood matches them bangs, but you didn't, so. Bitter? Oh, Bitter Betty's got a, a fucking chainsaw, bitch, and it's rhinestone. Eat these. Come on, drums. Oh, someone, oh, you playing the drums, but you got flour on it because you're making fried chicken on the drums. Make out with the, okay. Saint, stop climbing on the set. We gotta return to, what is your she? Oh God, Cremelda Hyde. I love that so much. Ooh, she is upside down. I love that. Reproduced by budding. And then they exploded. The Boulet Brothers Dragula. Uh, come on, Shutter Money. That was so good. Also, those poor backup dancers had to just shake and convulse for like six hours that day. They're all core. They are nothing but abs now. First things first, let's talk about the Boulet Brothers. Um, I absolutely love the silhouette of this dress, perfect mermaid skirt, but there's also um, a little bit of a, kind of an Elvira sort of sleeve coming down here, like a little wizard cloak. The way that the piping works on the sleeves um, and down the corset, all of those lines are so, so, so beautiful. The hair is nice and coif. It is so cute. Okay, this, this screams, we got money now, honey. We got regular money, honey. Hey, ghoul. Hey, ghoul friend. Do they say ghoul friend? They say ghoul friend, don't they? I'm sure someone said it before. The ghouls are ghoulin'. All right, let's talk about our next look. We actually have Astrid Aurelia. I've met Astrid before. She has slept on the floor of Cash's uh, apartment before. I feel like it's almost like street art graffiti, maybe like um, the kind of a wall you would see in a punk rock venue, just like the back wall where it's like a mixture of spray paint, black wallpaper, and just like different kind of uh, venue posters. I feel like it could have been a little bit scarier. This just feels, I mean, maybe maybe her thing isn't scary, maybe it's punk. So it's definitely give me, giving me punk, but I don't know if it's giving me like horror. That's Astrid, what do we think about the hair? It's like a punk bouffant, I think it's cute. Let's go on to the next one. All right, up next we have Bitter Betty. Come on, Bitter Betty. She is probably our neighbor right now. Okay, immediately I'm kind of getting a little bit of a, like Hex Girls kind of meets 80s fashion. I think that the hair is very indicative of 80s punk rock. And I absolutely love this lip on her. And they shouldn't have shot her against a black background girl because her whole entire body is disappearing. I think it's cute, it looks comfy. You can't have a Dragula look without ripped black fishnets. It's just, it's not a Dragula look without it. All right, up next we have Coco Kane. Come on, Coco Kane. Let me get a good look at it with my good eye. So Coco Kane has um, a kind of big tittied internal organ sort of look going on right now. I love the detail of having the fishnets over the stockings on her right foot. I think it's really, really cute. I think it's a great way to incorporate, like, I definitely think she's going up for pinup girl, but pinup girl and like a zombie apocalypse. I think it's very cute. The makeup is on point with this girl. I think she has great looking arms. I think it would have been great to feature it there or even have like a shawl of like internal organs or like a colon or something just kind of like out there like a little sash or like a, a background sort of cape or something. But overall, I think this look is nice. I think this look definitely showcases glamour and horror. What's the other thing? Glamour. Horror. Fritos. Next we have Hoso Teratoma. 
who is, I believe, from South Korea. Um, drag style is drag yokai. So think of like, Erica does kind of like drag kaiju, which is like Japanese monsters. And drag yokai would be more of like um, Asian inspired um, folklore, fairy tales. Think of like the, that one foot, the foot that has the, the umbrella. And first ever Asian person to be on the show, right? Don't say Erica Clash. <laughs> Do not say Erica Clash. We have been over this before. It's not Erica. Okay, let's talk about this look because this look is so, I love it. I love this look so much. First off, if you're gonna do a promo look in pants, it better have some sort of texture or look more than just like pants. Her whole body kind of looks like this weird, um, kind of like a scab. The hair is a little bit disjointed from the outfit. I feel like it could have been a bit more either crispy or fried or just angular, but the makeup is incredible. The makeup is so good. I love the angles. I love the line. I mean, come on. Her boobs are just her face and it's like completely just like scabbed over. It's Junji Ito Tomie, where Tomie is reproducing in other parts of her body, or you take a picture and then you see her distorted. I don't see as much glamour as I do see the horror in the film. But I love it, this is definitely one of my favorite looks. This is so, so, so cute. And I love the detail of having dirty teeth. Because out of drag, her teeth are really nice. This next monster is fucking giving me, ugh, it looks so good. The photo is a little weird right now because Formelda's leg looks like she has one really thick leg and one really skinny leg. I definitely feel like there is like a background of special effects makeup in here somewhere, if that was like a passion before pursuing drag or if that has always been in tandem. I love the mask, I love the apron, and I love the hat. The fingers being hypodermic needles is a really cute touch as well. I think it really lends itself to this look. The only thing though, for me, the, all the red parts are kind of boring. I know it's supposed to be like a nurse or a doctor outfit, but it feels very, it's like clean. Um, the hat has all of this damage on it and the rest of the gloves and the, um, like the shirt and the cape kind of don't feel like they've been through anything. Adding a little bit of distressing to the gloves, just like here where the most of the work is done. Um, or maybe a little bit dis distressing at the end of the cape. I think that would have been a good detail. I, I have to be critical of this look because I really like it. Um, I think that for Melda, he does such a great job at creating this horror aspect. Like, this is genuinely terrifying and I absolutely love this. Oh! Oh, she's back! Oh, she's back! Alice in Wonderland, Mama, the house down, Tim, Burton, Boots, Mama. So we have Jay Jolie, she was on season five of Drag Race. So this look is definitely Alice in Wonderland, kind of white rabbit, following down the rabbit hole sort of situation. It definitely feels a little bit, it feels bodysuit. I feel like white rabbit is such a general blanket concept for Alice in Wonderland and it's been done so many times that you kind of really have to up your game whenever you are trying to um, interpret that. There's like a BDSM storyline going on with the White Rabbit, but it doesn't feel like it's like horror-y, it doesn't feel like it's filthy enough. Um, it definitely does feel like it's leaning in towards glamour. If you're going to come up and have this story that I was on Drag Race, but I'm here to change and reinvent myself, I feel like it has to be kind of like night and day. You kind of have to lean into that like really hammering in um, that you're different, at least just for the promo. At least just for the promo. Really give us something to wow us that like, oh wow, that's Jay Jolie, she looks so different. But I could tell right away because that's Taylor Swift going to a Halloween party. I really do want to see what she's gonna bring and how she's gonna really interpret that. Damn, Mary Cherry. This outfit is, it definitely showcases her boobs. It's kind of giving me like, I'm playing hide and seek while I'm naked and I'm hiding behind the duvet covers and uh, I'm not trying very hard to not be found. As shown in the trailer, it looks really good in motion. It looks great with like the wind and everything, 
Um, I feel like it could have given her a better silhouette. I feel like the um, I feel like the negative space for this part right here for her boobs and for her neck look really really good. But everywhere else it just kind of like hides her a little bit. It really just doesn't give her a shape. Not Queen of the Dam specifically sort of look, but like I'm the like I'm the main villain of this horror story and I'm on the cover of this like I'm on the cover of the DVD. You know what I'm saying? All right, next up is Saint, and we all know Saint from season three of Dragula. This is so cute. I love when people use like the coiffed, um, the coiffed hairs to kind of create a silhouette on their face. I think this outfit is cute. It feels very, um, feels very fashion forward. You know what we, like, you know what we say about looks that are kind of disjointed, but it's still fashion, as we call it. Vivian Westwood. <laughs> it's giving. Um, I think it's cute. I think the white panty underneath kind of looks like adult baby fetish, but everything besides that is definitely very, very, very cute. I love the leggings and Saint looks great. Next up, we have Sigourney Bieber. She is a self-described AFAB drag queen. Oh, she's AFAB. A female impersonator impersonator. I love that. That is so, oh, and she is fucking put together, bitch. This look is so sickening, classic, horror. This is a person who knows their silhouettes, who knows their shapes, and knows how to really just um, proportionize everything. This is the, I love this so much. This looks so freaking good. So Gordon Beaver, I am looking out for you. You might be on my top contenders list right now. This is Leza Valetta. I hope I said that right. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Oh, come on, Mexico City. Mexico City? There are really just people from all around on the show right now, and I'm fucking living for it. Again, against a black background. Fun, guys. We didn't have red backgrounds for them, too. So from what I can see right here, first off, these glasses are so, so, so cute. I love, I love this kind of, like, shape that they give her. I think it's so cute, it's so punk. She also has great legs. Like, her legs look so good <laughs> in this dress. She has a very fashion-y body. I feel like there needs to be more with the shoe or the bottom of the dress. I feel like the dress just being cut, so I, know, I know her legs look good in it, but I feel like it just being cut straight across is kind of a disservice to like her creativity. But from what it is, it is very clean and it is very cute. I do like this look. I absolutely love these looks. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for the show. Um, I'm really excited to see all the looks that Formelda Hyde and Hoso are gonna bring. I'm also really looking forward to seeing um, Astrid just because we've met her before. And also, just, I mean, really, really everyone, everyone here. Um, if I had to pick one person to root for, I'd probably say Hoso because I love just, I love the concept of a drag yokai. Just a drag yokai is so, um, it's such a cool title and it's such a cool like form of drag artistry that I really just adore. I really, I really feel like I'm gonna adore. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the rest of Rocktober. And special thanks to all of my patrons on Patreon. You guys help make these videos possible. If you guys want to help support this channel, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link down in the description below. You guys get things like being able to join a personal Discord server, get signed autographs from me, and joining a one month once a month personal call with me and some of the other people on our Patreon. It's a fun time. The link is in the description below. And yeah, thank you to all of these wonderful people. Thank you guys so much. All right, you guys, I think we're gonna say, I was trying to do like a cow thing, but I don't have a cape. Ooky spooky, tuck you later. Oh boo, a spooky, spooky dookie. Oh boo. Okay, bye, bye. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. Oh, still going. Did they click another video yet?